What's up, YouTube? Hey, today I wanted to do a video on an IPTV service that I believe is not getting a lot of play, and in my opinion, should be, because I think it's the best one out there. Now, those of us in the community know that there's a lot of IPTV services out there. All of them are good in their own right. Uh, you got your Vaders, you got your, your Set TV, you got your Stalker, lots of different ones out there. They've been around for a while. Uh, but this one, to me, is the best simply because it's like a one-stop shopping if you will. And you know, you get on the APK and it has everything there for you. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go to all these other places, get, get your movies and your TV shows. It's all right there. All right. So I decided I'm going to, you know, do a video because I haven't seen any very many videos on this IPTV service. All right. So I'm doing this on my NVIDIA shield, as you can see. And, uh, so let's get it cracking. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to, uh, this media player. All right, and this is what it's gonna look like when it first starts up. All right, you got a TV guy right here, and you got another TV guy right here. That's the extreme TV guy. This one, in my opinion, is a little bit better than the other TV guy because you can uh, customize it, and we'll get into that later. And you got your movies right here. You got your sports. This is where all your pay-per-view events gonna be, all your basketball, your NFL, that sort of thing is gonna be right there. All right, you got Plex service. Uh, I personally don't use the Plex service, but for those of y'all that do, we got it right there for you. Um, here you got your TV shows, your on-demand TV shows. Like every TV show you can possibly think of, at least every one that I try to find, is right there. Um, this is your TV catch-up. Uh, you got your sports catch-up and you got your TV catch-up. All right, so you don't need a DVR. You just go here, click on the one that you find the one that you want, click on it, and it'll play. All right. Uh, and then you got your kids zones right there. You got some music. I, you know, personally don't use the music one, but it's there for you guys that like the music. Then you got some apps right there. All right, so let's go in and check out the TV guide. And this is the first TV guide. Okay, this one's it's a nice TV guide. It's clean. It's sleek. It's it's nice looking. Uh, has all the channels right there. Uh, you can go up or down. You know, um, it's a TV guide. It, it does what it does. Uh, you can go forward, you know, you can go three hours down the road, whatever, see what's on uh, later on in the day. It's a, it's a nice TV guy. The only thing I personally uh, don't use this TV guy because um, when I want to watch something, say I want to watch uh, TNT, I got to scroll through a lot of channels because this service, as you can see, this service has 370 U.S. channels. These are just U.S. channels, okay? They got all other countries, but this is just U.S. So if I'm trying to find TNT and I got to scroll through a whole bunch of channels, just like your cable provider, you know, you'd have to scroll through or you'd have to know what channel it is. All right. So I don't know what TNT is, so I'd have to go scroll through all these. But as you can see, you got your HBO, your stars, your showtimes. You got all the channels. All right. All the channels. They all they all play um, let's see here. So, say you want to go to, uh, I don't know what this movie is, Undercover Brother. Go ahead, click on it, and voila, there you go, Undercover Brother. Playing, I don't know what Undercover Brother is, but I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Alright, Major Pain, old school comedy right there, Wayne's Brothers. Boom, right there, Wayne's Brothers, high definition, alright. Plays right away. All right, let me go ahead and stop that. And here we go. You know, you just go through. It has all the channels, as good as it gets. Um, let's see if I can find another Brave Heart, one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, boom, right there. We're about to get down and dirty right now. So you can't watch that because I don't want to get my video, get a strike on. All right. So there you go, that, that's that TV guy right there. And, it, and you can scroll through here, it has every channel. I'm, I'm telling you if, you, if you can find a channel on here that's not on here, go ahead and leave a uh, comment. And uh, we'll, we'll see if I can find it. But 390 channels, pretty sure it has every single channel you can think of. It has them all. All right, and so let's get back out of there. Go back to the home screen and go to this extreme TV guy. Now this TV guy, in my opinion, is just nicer. It's nicer because you can customize it. As you can see, this channel one, it has Hallmarks. I customize this the way me and my wifey watches TV. She likes a lot of Hallmark TV, all right? So I got Hallmark right up top. 
And we got our HGTV and our DIY. You know, we want to, uh, you know, improve our home. We got your food networks. And then we get to my channels, the sports channels. I got my ESPN, 2, NBA, NFL, my golf channel. So I can try to straighten up my swing. And I got my UFC. And then we still have all the rest of them. See, I customize the first 15 channels because these are the channels that we watch on a daily basis. Now, there are some channels that we watch every now and again, but on a daily basis, we watch these 15 channels. So we customize those. Then you got your Sky Sports. Tons and tons and tons of sports. Tons of sports, all right? Um, everything you can think of, it's right there, okay? And it all plays just like the other TV guy. Same service, of course, it's gonna play the same way, all right? So let's go ahead and click on one. Let's go flip or flop. Canada. <clears throat> and you can see right there, it plays right away. All right? Play right away. In HD. Right here, you can go up and down if you wanted to. All right, look for another channel. Click on that. Go to Food Network. All right, there's Food Network, it's commercial. All right, go again. Get the ESPN2, click on that. Right there. Okay. Then as you can see right here, if you go right to the left, you can see what's coming on next. All right? And that's what I like nice about this as well. You can see what's coming on next right there without even leaving what you were watching. Okay? Try to get out of there. Okay. So, I'm back in the guide. All right. And so, what I'm talking about with the customization, you come up here, um, up, up to the top right right here, you go over to these gears. All right? And you go over here to the guide setup. And then you can set up your channels right here. It's very simple to do, very simple. You want, you don't want Hallmark up top, pull it to the left, bring it down, all right? And bring it over. Maybe you want Sky Sports Main up top. You go over here, bring it over. Boom, right there, customize, that quick, all right? And then when you're done, just go to the right, come down here, hit save. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want Sky Sports up top. But that's as simple as it is. That's, as, that's how easy it is to customize on this here uh, TV guide. So I like it. Okay, um, so let's go back to the, the main menu. Now you got your sports guide. This is your uh, where all your pay-per-view events are gonna be, where all your, your Sunday football is gonna be, yeah, Lakers when you know you wanna watch some Lakers play, at least I do. Um, they're all gonna be right here. And they all play right away, just like on the TV guide did. I have no idea what these sports are. Um, world football, it could be rugby, it could be soccer, I have no idea. But uh, let's see if we can find out. It's 12.45 right now. Let's try 12 o'clock. All right, world football. That's soccer in my world. Soccer. But it's not world football, whatever. Okay. All right. Let's go try one more. <clears throat> see right there is pain right away. No buffer. I mean, I wish I could show you that it doesn't buffer, but YouTube don't allow that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, it's got to be on for like five minutes for you to see that it don't buffer. You're just going to have to take my word for it. It doesn't buffer. Of course, you got to have proper internet. You got to have at least 10 megabits per second internet. Um, but I think everybody has that. It's almost 2018. If you ain't got at least 10, probably shouldn't be trying to get an IPTV service. Just my opinion. All right. But here you got all of them. You go all the way down to, you know, like sometimes I come on here and see when my Lakers are going to play. All right. They don't play today because they play yesterday. All right, but you got your Utah Jazz going to play Chicago at 6 o'clock, Wednesday, 6 o'clock, Utah, Chicago, 1800, 6 o'clock for you non, for you civilians out there. All right, so get out of that. That's where all your pay-per-views. Now, if you don't see a pay-per-view there, it's because it ain't on yet. So here's all your movies. So you, you know, you just scroll through here. These are all the movies that are available on this service right here. Uh, let's try one um, big Star Wars fan here. I am not afraid to admit it. Got my tickets for Friday already. And a little load up through Covenant. Probably the most popular repository right now. Um, while it's working. You know, you always got to have a lot of different repositories. You're going to use this service right here because uh, they go down. They go down quick. Often. All right, let's go ahead and click on it. <clears throat> And as you can see right there, it says 720 HD. 
All right, let's fast forward through it a little bit. Right. And voila, there you go. Okay. Stay calm, stay calm. There you go. Take out of that. Don't let that movie, I don't want to get distracted. All right, so there's your movies. Um, all right, what else I want to show you? Um, here, TV right, shows. all your TV shows here. They're all in alphabetical order. All right, you scroll through. If you know the show you want, you know, it makes it easy to find because it's in alphabetical order. All right, just go down to whichever one you're looking for. I don't know. Just try whatever. I don't know half of these shows. But let's try to find. Luke Cage, I heard of Luke Cage before. Let's try that one. <clears throat> season one, I'm not sure how many seasons are in Luke Cage, but if there's more than one season, then, um, sorry. But I think there's only one season, I don't know. If they had two seasons, it would be there. I'm pretty sure. And there you go, you see it's playing in 1080p, played right away. Okay, let's go to forward through a little bit. So you can see what the quality is like. And there you go, that's 1080p. All right, Tony, Tony, Tony. I don't get it, get out of that. All right. So, get back to, all right, so there's your TV shows. All right. Um, okay, so that's the section of TV shows. If you go, you see the arrow on the top right there. If you go up on the arrow, it'll give you all the popular TV shows. All right, everything that's, you know, folks is watching right now. Greatest show on earth right there, Game of Thrones. Uh, right there, you got Arrow. You know, all the, I guess this is the show that you guys watch. I don't watch very many of these shows, but they're there for your viewing pleasure. Um, dude got a sword. I'm going to check this one out. Okay, so let's get back out of there. I'm going to show you one more thing. Oh, here's your TV catch-up. This is before I show you one more thing. Here's the TV catch-up. This is where you're going to be able to watch the replays and stuff. So let's say you go to Match Center. Match Center is gonna be your sports replays. So you can see they go by the date. This uh, December 7th came on. Um, let's try to see if we can find something. Like where the Lakers at? I know everybody wants to watch a, a replay of the Lakers game. So. <laughs> All right, here, Lakers in New York. They lost yesterday, but whatever. Yeah, it's rebuilding stage. That's what happens when you rebuild. So go ahead and click on the Lakers and the Knicks so you can watch it again. Who doesn't want to watch it again? And boom, right there. Playing right away. In 720. Good looking picture right there. Now, mind you, I'm, I'm showing you all this stuff on a 75-inch 4K TV. So, and you know, it it's looking legit. It's it's good quality right here. All right, so this is all your, uh, that's your sports catch-up. You just go through there and do the same thing I just did. It has all the games right there. Okay, back out of here is the TV catch-up. Now, sometimes my wife misses a uh, Hallmark Christmas movie. Click on the Hallmark channel, go down, try to find something to watch. Maybe she misses every Christmas has a story. December 9th, click on it, see if it populates. December 9th, that was about three days ago, something like that, four days ago. See if it'll play. Thinking about it. Just thinking. Might want to play. And give it a couple seconds. A couple more seconds. Just thinking whether it wants to play or not. And there it goes. Alright, that one took a little longer than normal, but 30 seconds. I mean maybe 30 seconds. And there you go. You don't need a DVR. You just do it this way. All right. So let me get out of there. And one more thing I want to show you guys before I wrap it up. Um, you go here. You go video on demand. And right here you have 4K movies and 4K TV. Now, as you know, there's not a lot of 4K content out right now. Um, but those of us with 4K TVs... We want to be able to watch something in 4K. Okay, so let's see how much 4K content these guys got. And as you can see right here, he's got a nice chunk of 4K movies. All right. 
Now, I've learned that just because it says 4K don't mean it's going to be in 4K. All right? I've learned that um, and going through all the repositories that I've been going through. Um, sometimes it'll say 4K and you click on it and it's 720 or 1080. So uh, let's just try one. It says Guardians of the Galaxy it is in 4K. So let's see if it's going to be in 4K. Start from the beginning. You see down there at the bottom left, it says 4K. All right. And I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but I can definitely tell on my 4K TV that this is 4K. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Now, to watch 4K content, you got to have a lot better internet than normal. But yeah, this is definitely in 4K. Take my word for that if you can't see it on the YouTube screen. That's 4K content. Let's try one more. All right, so let's try another one. Go down to Passengers. Pretty good movie. Um, as you can see, it's playing. Um, see if I can forward through it. And there you go. 4K content right there. Get out of that. I be my first video. Don't want to get three strikes and you're out on my first video ever. All right. So let's go to 4K TV. See what they have to offer for 4K TV. <clears throat> okay. Got these shows. Whatever these shows are. Uh, let's see. Ozark. A friend of mine told me I should watch that one. Said it was pretty good. I don't know. Let's, well, let's see. Just choose one randomly, whatever. TV plays, boom. Netflix original in 4K. Let's see if I can go ahead and fast forward it all. What I have buffering. And there you go. That's a beautiful picture right there. That is a beautiful picture. Not sure if YouTube is rendering that, but that is a beautiful picture. Let's get, get out of that beautiful picture. But there's, there you go. Uh, not, not a ton of TV shows, but look, it's a, it's a good amount, and they're constantly updating, uh, constantly updating. So every time I come, I remember I came in here one time, and there was like two shows in here, and now uh, they got I don't know, I'm not gonna count them, but they got quite, quite a few now. All right, so now. Let's go back to the home screen. I know there's a lot of you that are going to, even though I showed you these two beautiful TV guides, you're used to the Perfect Player. I get that. Perfect Player is an awesome TV guy. Have no worries, though, because I got you covered. Some Perfect Player as well. Okay? No worries. If you don't like those two TV guides, for whatever reason, I don't know why you wouldn't. But let's just say you're just stuck on Perfect Player. And it has to be on Perfect Player. Not a problem. Just let this Perfect Player app load up. See, the other one, you ain't got to wait till it loads up. Perfect Player ain't that perfect, is it? It's got to load. <sighs> anyway. So there you go. To all channels. And there's your TV guide. Okay? Of course, I have mine on. Um, tell them the, the, the channels that I watch the most to go up top, whatever that's called. And so these are the channels I watch the most. But there you go with your perfect player app. TV guy. Ooh, Braveheart on again. Mm, let's take a peek. Voila, perfect. There you go. Perfect player, Braveheart. Say goodbye. Yeah, there. I don't want to hurt myself. No strikes. I don't know how to get out of a perfect player. I don't forget. It was the same for me and your daddy. <laughs> um, so, Bramble House Christmas. There you go. Boom. Property brothers buying and selling. Accessories are buy one, get Boom. one 50% off. Works. It just works, folks. USC 81. Who's fighting USC 81? Wait to miss it. I don't even know. There's the bell. Okay. There you go. You go down. It don't matter which one you want to watch. Ooh, perfect player has stopped. That is not LED TV's fault. That is perfect player fault.
That's why I don't use Perfect Player. But for those of y'all that want Perfect Player and have it set up perfectly, Perfect Player is it. Now, for my folks that don't have Android and are on Apple TV, okay? And you don't want to go out and buy a NVIDIA Shield because you already have Apple TV 4s or the 4K one. No worries. No worries at all because got you covered there too. All right. I got four, four uh, Apple TVs. And so, voila. There you go. GSE uh, Pro, whatever. It's right here. All the channels, same channels you get. The only thing about this is those that know GSE player, IPTV service player, uh, I don't know how to get rid of these countries. So my TV guide is just full of countries that I don't plan on watching ever. <laughs> uh, okay, right. See right okay, there, yeah. boom. Time ESPN. You're taking the bombs. You know you get five uh, seconds. I don't know. Yeah, there. Rich Eisen show. Check them out. I like Richie Rich. See what Richie Rich is talking about. Commercial. All right, no problem. 720. And just go through. I mean, with this, it, it, if you're on Apple TV, iOS, you know how Apple is. This is what you got to work with. And so this is just here that they put this in here for our iOS people. This is what you got to work with. It's a broken clock. You got to figure out how to get rid of them channels. Thank you, know, you for bringing it to my attention. 12,000 channels. Can we please proceed? And so but the way I usually use it. I just go here and I go video on demand because to me it's just easier this way. And then I go to my, hold on, that's not where I go. I go to live TV, okay? And then I go to my United States and I go up to favorites because I already got some favorites in there. my favorites. Oh, here's my favorites. I'm sorry. Are these my favorites? These ain't my favorites. These are USA. Where's my favorites at? Empty channel. Something happened to my favorites. My favorites done gone. But anyway, this is how I would do it. I'd go on here and uh, let's just say I go down and I find one of my favorite channels that I like to watch. A lot of channels. See, this is the good and the bad thing about having so many channels. Is when you got 350 channels, you have to go through 350 channels to get to where you want. Let's just say for the wifey, that plays right away. Plays like these, let you choose it. Back though, that's not what I was trying to do. I'll go over there and I say add to favorites. Boom. All right, add it successfully. Then I'll go up here. I'll go up. Hmm. Look for my favorites and voila, there you go. Or, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. If you know what channel it is, all you got to do with the Siri remote, just say NFL Network. Well, it's not going to do it because NFL Network is on sports. I'm under USA TV channels. All right, so let's do that again. Uh, what's the USA? Um, TNT. And boom, there it is. There's your TNT. Voila, click on TNT, and it's playing. That's how I roll when I'm on my Apple TV in the other room. Um, I don't have an Android box in there, so this is the best I can do. All right, let's get out of there. And let's try one more. Let's try, um, think of a TV show, I don't know. Um, dang, why is it so hard? TBS. No, not devious. TBS. There you go, boom, TBS, right there. And it's playing right away. Alright? That's how you have to do it if you're on Apple TV. Um, it's not perfect, but it's live TV and it's all in HD. Alright? So, let's go back to the video shield. Okay, so, I pretty much covered everything that this has. Um, obviously, um, 
If you don't like using their movie services, there's a ton of movie services on Android and iOS. If you just know how to get them, you know where they are. Um, there's tons of people on YouTube that can get stir you in the right direction. But IPTV is mainly for live TV. And you want the live TV to run right away. And you want it to be in high definition. At least 720. I like 1080 myself, but at least 720. Don't give me a channel in 480p like Mobdro. It's free. I like it. Nice. But I'm not watching the TV in 480 when I got a 4K TV. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, if you want to know how to get this, you go onto their Facebook page and just type in LED TV support. Uh, ask that you want it. They'll shoot you a, a username and a password. You'll be set up. Um, you can put this on three different devices. It's $24.99 a month. Or you can put it on a Fire Stick, one device, for $15.99 a month. All right? I personally like the uh, $24.99 because I can put it on three different devices. Just, to me, it just makes more sense. All right, so LED TV support page on Facebook, and they will set you up. All right, uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, y'all have a blessed day.